Welcome to Lebanon. A quaint village. This is not the Middle East. Cheers. Cheers. To the best lemonade in the It's a bold statement. Is it fish import or is it you that smells? <laughs> it's warm enough to sunbathe, but it's not quite warm enough to swim. This is lovely. The colour of that water. Good morning from somewhere on the outskirts of the Trone, Lebanon. Behind me is the main highway of the country and we got up bright and early this morning and got on the, I think it's the brand new connection bus between Beirut and Tripoli and we had to jump off on the main highway, run across the road and we are now on the hunt for the quaint little seaside village of Batrone. Everyone that we spoke to in Beirut said if you go anywhere in the country this is where we need to head to. Hopefully we're on the right direction as we literally honestly we were like dodging traffic those buses are actually really good they have a set schedule monday to friday and obviously saturday and sunday too and they're 120,000 lebanese pounds which is around two as of dollars as of today is around two dollars and they actually run on time it took about 45 minutes to get here and already it looked completely different i mean as matt said it's like kind of like a quaint village and you can see orange rooftops which looks completely different to the city of Beirut. I don't know how busy the Tron is going to be today. It is a Tuesday and it is the winter but for us it's pretty hot. I've got my shorts on, I've got my trunks in the bag, it's 20 degrees um, and it feels so different, so different to Beirut. It's quaint, village, Mediterranean. You could be in Cyprus, you could be in Greece. Wow, we have found the cobbled streets of this gorgeous old town um, and I just can't get over the feeling, it's different. It's definitely a lot quieter, things aren't open yet. I don't know whether it's because it's quite early in the this morning. Could be Greece. Um, it could be, it, it doesn't feel like you're in Lebanon. This is very different. You've got fruit shops that double up as cocktail bars, you have cobbled streets, and this is actually the the old souk, obviously, I think again, because it's a Tuesday and it's only like 10 in the morning, not so much is open. You've got lemon haze, pink octopus, noir, overdose. And overdose sounds a little bit, <laughs> a little bit extreme, and you can actually travel around these cobbled streets on tuk-tuks. Look at these, they actually have these full-size tuk-tuks that can take you around. This I'm is, liking it. This is not the Middle East. I honestly don't know how we're going to choose where to eat, drink and sit down today. There are too many nice places. You've got all sorts of lovely coffee shops and uh, restaurants and then behind we have an organic Batroon mountain wine tasting room. Everything just sounds so cool. We've been drawn in to Hilmi's because one, it's bright yellow, two, we think it's open because the shutters are open, and three, it's apparently the best lemonade in the world. That's a bold statement. It's just yellow. Absolutely everywhere. They definitely do their advertising well. <laughs> yellow overload. Hello. Hi. What do you recommend? What is the most famous? The lemonade. Can we get two? Two lemonades? Kill me with yes. lemonades. Please. That's the most famous. No. Two, please. Two, please. Thank you. Thank you, Shukran. Cheers. Cheers. To the best lemonade in the It's a bold statement. It is a bold statement. Let me try it first. Oh, it's bitter. Ooh. It is definitely fresh lemonade. It's more like a slush, and you can have all different flavours. You can actually even get one with rum. But it's I think that's early. too early Even in the for morning. Us, 10 in the morning is early. And these were 65,000 each. So that is over a dollar. Very, very good. And um, it's just very, very yellow inside. I've never seen anything like this place. It has a souvenir shop and apparently the first and only lemonade museum in the world. A lemonade legacy since 1888. And uh, it's good. I'm not. A connoisseur of lemonade, it's pretty decent. 
maybe I am becoming a slight lemonade connoisseur. I got one to take away and I don't know if it was the best idea because the more you drink, the bitterer it gets. But just walking through this village is just, I know I'm gonna say it a lot and I'll sound like a broken record and probably a lot of people say it, but it just isn't what you expect from the Middle East. I think this is actually a Christian village and everyone that comes past you says bonjour. Absolutely everyone here speaks French. We found the sea. We could smell it whilst we were walking through the old streets. We've made it to the main fishing port. So you can see all the boats pull up. I think all the catch has gone now because it's past 6 a.m. or whenever you're supposed to come and grab your catch of the day. Um, but yeah, again, I think we're just gonna be sounding like broken records. Look at this, like you have a, an, a port with a huge church on the front, old uh, brick style restaurants, a few restaurants around here. It is so I'm sure it's a fishing port. Yeah, it doesn't or really is, feel is like it, it, does it? Is it a fishing port or is it you, that smell? <laughs> There's not really too much going on at the port. I mean, if you're into seafood, it's a place here. It looks great to come down for your dinner, but if you, Absolutely hate the smell of fish. Like me. <laughs> and me, maybe uh, maybe steer clear. For me, this is uh, this is far too hot. I need to be taking taking this hoodie off. At 20 degrees in January, I think I'm not certain. I think Beirut is around a three to four hour flight from the UK. So I don't see why more people don't come to Lebanon. It has a huge stretch of coast quaint little villages like that we've just left the village as we're on the hunt for is it this way no it's a car park for a brewery and obviously being at the coast we need the beach so down a small little village road is colonel craft beer which is what we've been looking for it doesn't look open but that's fine because it's still relatively early it's not midday yet we're going to be the first customers. First customers of the day, hopefully. It might be closed down, I'm not too sure. I'm going to see if there's something. They might be redoing it for the summer. Hello. Hi. Is the bar open today? Yes, it's uh, by the beach bar. Happy days, it's open. And he said it's the beach bar to the right that is open. This is actually the brewery behind me. Also, he said that if you want to, you can, um, you can do a tour of the brewery but you have to inform them in advance like a day before so they've got someone here to show you a full tour. Apparently the number one craft beer in all of Lebanon <laughs> and we get to have the beer at the beach bar. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my god this is so cool from like walking down a small little village road and finding a sort of closed uh, distillery brewery now we have this like wooden walkway with surfboards and I can see and hear the sea. Wow. This is definitely what we were looking for, right out on to the sea. You've got the breeze, you can hear the waves, and it's just us on the reef. We got lucky. When I was looking at this place online, I thought that the bar for the brewery was in the brewery. Yes, Tur so did I. Turns out we've got beachfront, sort of a beach. I wouldn't necessarily swim here, and we have a menu with food. So we've got two shakshuka on the way. Where's shakshuka from? It's Middle Eastern, Somewhere so in the Middle East. we can say it's Lebanese today. And we have two unfiltered blonde, lagers. blonde lagers. I was reading up about the bit. Oh, there we go. After a long hot summer's day, the colonel rested on the shores dating back to 2014, so it's pretty new and it's the already... The Colonel needed a beer. The, the Colonel needs a beer. Cheers. Cheers. When you think of Lebanon or you think of Mediterranean beaches, do you think of Lebanon? Honestly, I feel like more people should be coming here. Somewhere out there, don't know whereabouts, somewhere <laughs> out there is Cyprus and for a half pint of unfiltered craft beer, it was $2. Like You're not gonna get cheaper than that anywhere else in the Mediterranean. One point knocked down, they're out of pint glasses, so we've got to, get, we've got to drink more half pints. <laughs> now let's taste. Oh, it's good. It's, uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to describe anything. I don't know how like food vloggers and things like that do it. It's, let me get, or, let me, beer, or beer tasters. Beer tasters, I'll have another sip. It's smooth. It's not too hoppy. When it's too hoppy and bitter, it's not bitter, it's smooth. It's refreshing. But it's only $2, so. And it's only $2. It, yeah, it could taste terrible. I'd still drink it. 
Lebanese shakshuka. I am beyond excited for this. It kind of feels weird sitting by the sea, drinking an unfiltered lager and eating shakshuka. This is sort of our breakfast. <laughs> but here we go, it's brunch. Mm. Oh, that's unreal. So, so good. There's a different type of herb in this one. That's why we'll say it's a Lebanese shakshuka. I'm liking Batroon and I definitely like the Colonel. I feel like we definitely should have booked an Airbnb and stayed here for a couple of nights. We've definitely made a mistake, but they said just next door, like a two minute walk past all these palm trees and apartments is, we think, the public beach. He said it's like a, a white sand beach or one of the main beaches in the area, but we keep getting turned around. Every time we go to walk there, Someone from one of like the hotels or apartments runs out saying, no, 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 it's private. So we're not too sure. We made it and uh, it's actually quite a nice beach. He was right. It's got powdery sand. The water looks very fresh and actually in the distance you can see all of the hills um, and the greenery and the villas. This is this is very unexpected. Who knew it? Crystal clear waters. There is a beach bar over there, but it looks like it is closed for the winter, but this is lovely. The color of that water, the Mediterranean Sea, Molly over there. And one of the best things about coming to the beach in Lebanon is it is the most liberal of the Middle East. So as a woman, like Molly, you can come to any beach, any public beach, and jump straight into a bikini. It's warm enough to sunbathe, but it's not quite warm enough to swim. We can paddle. So I will paddle because, oh my God. You ready? Oh, it's absolutely Baltic. I'd rather stay here and just, I like the sand. The sand is like super soft and powdery. I will stay clear of the sea though. They've got the right setup though. You've got these great big seafront resorts. I just don't think it's hit the, uh, the UK market yet. I feel like people will always choose like a, a Spain or something because it's what it's what you know. They just need to know that you can come to beaches like this. It's like Cyprus but cheap. Just don't come here now when it's freezing in the sea. I brought my trunks but there is no way Oh, paddling is cold enough. They are going on. I think you can actually rent the little beach huts behind in the summer. But I mean, I know I keep saying it, but it looks so European. It's so non-Middle Eastern. Maybe I'm stereotyping, but so non-Middle Eastern to or what you, the norm, to what you expect from the Middle East. This isn't it, quaint little village orange thatch roofs behind that just looks like the typical sort of resort that you'll see in Greece in Spain welcome to Lebanon yeah there was no way I was swimming but you can just imagine of a weekend how busy this place gets only a 45 minute drive from Beirut so all the locals flock down here apparently it has a crazy nightlife scene with loads of beach clubs and bars a few kilometers out from here and in the summer, wow. It's a place we'll have to come back to. We definitely will. We've only got an hour left until our bus takes us back to Beirut. We should have booked an Airbnb, it was so stupid. We're against the clock. We have about 35 minutes until our bus comes. So we thought we'd have a quick pit stop in our favorite, the Colonel. And this time we have got a passion fruit IPA. Is that right? I think it's a, no, it's just passion fruit. It's just passion fruit, okay. And they have a beach, I didn't even notice. That's lovely. Very, very nice, very fruity. And yeah, we have this like huge beach, loads of sand. I mean, there's nothing set up to sit down yet because obviously it's winter and we're the only people crazy enough right now to sit out on the beach. But nice I'd way to say goodbye to Batroon. We literally have like 25 minutes Sorry. now. If like us, you only have a day in Batroon, well, probably less than a day considering that the last bus with the company that we're going at goes at 20 past three, go. To Colonel, that was so good. We're now in a little bit of a rush though. We have 15 minutes to make a 20 minute walk, so we might have to run or we're hitchhiking. We made it, and now it's time 
for the, the fun bit. Standing on the highway, waiting for the bus. I feel like it would be really easy to get back. So many, that's close. So many of these minivans come up and ask you if you're heading back to Beirut. I think the minivans are like half the price of the official bus that we're getting. Um, but it's now 3.28. It's late by 10 minutes. If it's not here in the next 5.10. I thought that was one there. It'll have to be a minivan. The bus is here. It's 10 minutes late. Is this us? This is us. <laughs> 45 minutes later and we are back in the capital back in Beirut. We will link below the timetable or the schedule or the WhatsApp number, Molly knows all the information um, for the connection bus. It runs between Beirut and Tripoli, which is only an hour and a half drive and you can stop off at different beach locations on the way, but we're back in Marta Square. We're definitely gonna use in that bus company over the next couple of days to check out some more locations, Tripoli, and I think we want to go to Biblos, I think it's called, which is a place which is very similar to Betrone, but we should have booked an Airbnb, we really should. We needed a couple of days to chill out there on the coast, go to the bars, go to the beach clubs, walk through the quaint souk. I'd highly recommend it. If you're coming to Lebanon, if you're coming to Beirut, 45 minutes from the capital and you get a Mediterranean paradise where you can get beers for less than $2. You definitely don't get that in Cyprus, but we are moving to another hotel on the other side of the city because we're going to use it as a base for the foreseeable. Uh, we're going to use it as a base for the rest of our time in the country. So we'll see you in the next one from somewhere in Lebanon. <laughs> 